Hello, this is Neely on Nutrition. I am with my friend Robin Plotkin, registered dietitian and culinary nutritionist. I asked Robin specifically to do this because as a registered dietitian in private practice, I get a lot from my clients how to cook vegetables mm -hmm. and their challenge with getting them into their diet. So what are we going to do today? How can we get more vegetables into people's um, um, diet? The, the easiest thing that I tell people is to change the way they're cooking them. Oftentimes they're cooking them the exact same way that their mother cooked them, which is overcooking or perhaps boiling to death um, or maybe microwaving, which sometimes doesn't give the flavor um, that you're looking for, but roasting them, which means high heat, like 450 degrees, don't be afraid of the 450, for an amount of time that's going to really cook the vegetables releases um, the natural sweetness uh -huh. and caramelizes them right. and gives them a delicious flavor that oh, you'll eat the whole bowl, yeah. I promise. Excellent. Promise. So roasted vegetables. Yeah. All righty. Ready? So, yes, I okay. am. So what I have here are just a variety of vegetables mm -hmm. that literally I had left over in my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I did not buy any of this. Okay. These are things that we just kind of normally have around the house. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of times they're about to go bad and I need to use them up. Um, so what I like to do is roast a big pan okay. and then freeze them so that we can use them later if we don't want to use them that okay. particular day. Uh -huh. So what I have here are these mini peppers, which those. you I maybe know. have seen oh, yeah. lately. <laughs> okay. And what I want to do is just chop out the tip, the uh, stems, excuse mm -hmm. me. And I like to leave them about this size because what we're eventually going to do is make sure all of the vegetables are right about that size. So you can go ahead, and these are seedless, which is nice. Okay. So you can go ahead and throw those in. Um, this is a purple onion. I like the purple onion because it's a little bit sweeter. Yes. And I just cut these into crescent shapes, uh -huh. crescent shapes. So those can go right on in. Okay, great. Um, these are a few spears of asparagus that I had left over, mm -hmm. and as I'm sure you know, you're just going to snap the bottoms right where they naturally bend, mm -hmm. and those are ready to go in. Thank you. Okay. These are broccoli florets that I purchased already cut into florets. In the, in the bag? In the bag, yeah, yes. So, you know what? It's, it's, so it's so easy. There's mm -hmm. no reason for you not to, and it ensures that you're going to eat more of it. Just right. make sure you only buy what, what you really need. Exactly. So those go so, in. Little florets. Florets. And then I don't know too many households who don't have these little mini <laughs> carrots, yes. and they're perfectly already sized exactly. for us. Exactly, perfect. Um, these are a couple of leftover green beans. Mm -hmm. Those go right in. Mm -hmm. And zucchini is very plentiful right now uh, because it's the end of summer, mm -hmm. and you're just I'm just cutting them so that, again, they're all uniform size okay. with the other vegetables. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry if they're not mm -hmm. exactly all the same size. Okay. I've just got them in nice chunks, and they're ready to go. Right. Perfect. And then for color, a little more color, we've got a handful of the cherry tomatoes oh, cherry or tomatoes. teardrop tomatoes. Yeah. And that's it. You can put in anything that you've got, anything that is, like I said, about to turn, um, any leftover little bits, um, any, uh, anything that you want from the garden, right. it can all be roasted. Wonderful. Okay. And then I do add olive oil. Okay. You need something to, to help cook it. And I usually put in for about this much, about a tablespoon. Okay. And if you're watching your weight and you're watching your calories. Yeah, definitely need to measure. And you could probably get by with less than this, maybe. You could. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So let's see how so, we do. Just and just drizzle it over. Yeah. Or you can use like a spray, like mm -hmm. a, one of those um, sifter sprays. Get them at um, various kitchen stores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you do have to be careful with the, with the oil because there's 120 calories in a, in a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. And it can add up. Can really add up. Definitely. Right? Definitely. You bet. We're going to add a little bit of salt. And uh, if you're watching your sodium intake, you certainly can use less salt or a salt-free seasoning. Mm -hmm. And then some nice, generous grinds of pepper. And last but not least, our little piece of garlic. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to get this, the skin off the garlic. Okay. Set it on your cutting board with a large chef's knife. This is called a chef's knife. Okay. Flat on its side. Give it a smash. And wow, there's your peel. And then I like to just break it up a little bit. And just give it a little <laughs> stir, mix around everything. The best tools in the kitchen are your hands. Mm -hmm. 
and then you're going to pop that into a 450 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is the first thing you want to do when you get home or when you have time to do this because it will take a little bit of time. But I yeah. promise you, once you are ready to sit down or once you are ready to be finished in the kitchen, these will be done. Excellent. Yeah. It's so easy. Yeah. It took us a couple couple minutes. Yeah, a couple it. minutes. And and again, so many of this so much of this was prepared. I didn't have to spend a lot of time chopping right, or cutting. Right, right, right. Now, through the magic of TV, we oh, have yeah. some roasted vegetables already prepared. Yes. And you can see they're beautifully caramelized. Mm -hmm. They've got a little bit of the burnt on them, which which I know you prefer and I prefer I also. And how do they taste? Awesome. Sweet. Very sweet. Sweet, mm -hmm. just enough seasoning. Perfect. And could you eat a whole bowl? Oh, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And that's it. Wonderful. So, I mean, you can eat those every night. I mean, there's, yeah. You can eat them every night. And mm -hmm. in the next video, we're going to show a couple of ways to utilize these vegetables um, a little bit further so that we're Great. incorporating some more veggies Excellent. in the diet. Yeah. Yay. All right. Roasted vegetables. Get your veggies in. Thanks so much, Robin. Thank Great you. Great information. Again, yeah. um, Robin Plotkin, a registered dietitian and culinary nutritionist. This is Neely on Nutrition. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.